Hey, what's going on, everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing awesome, actually. So today, welcome back to another Behind the Build, episode two. And today, we're going to be talking about this little horse stables right here. If you do enjoy this episode for today, please leave a like on the video. Also, leave a comment down below. If you guys see any builds that I post on Instagram or on YouTube or any other social media platforms that you guys would like to see, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. So let's get right into looking at this build. All right, so as we're walking along here, you may remember this build right here. This is the giant inn, the raindrop inn that we looked at in last episode. And we just gone over a few basic tips and tricks, different things that I did, specialty for this build. So if you haven't checked out episode one of this series, I uh, highly suggest you do. Uh, it was a good episode, good turnout, and I appreciate everybody, you know, supporting that first episode. Got a lot of good feedback on the series, a lot of good suggestions on what we could do for the future. So I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys, so much for that. But yeah, we got a small build to look at today, but it has a lot of detail in this build. A lot of different details going on, uh, which is really, really cool. When you have a small build, and but there's a lot to look at, right? To compare, we have this giant inn over here, right? There's it's it's huge, but that doesn't mean that it's better. It doesn't mean simply because it's a giant build that it's better. It's about the little things sometimes, about the little things that matter. That's what this build's all about today. Taking a look inside is just seeing how many details we can find, right? So, one of the main things that with this build in particular, just looking at it. Uh, its main feature is that little, like, light tower over there, the little lighthouse tower. It's not really a, a watchtower, per se. It's just sort of part of the build. It provides a little light during the nighttime. And it kind of does look cool, so we set it to night real quick. You can kind of see it does have that little glow. Kind of a little beacon of light. Kind of cool. So, just a fun little thing there. So, with that... When I was building this, I was like, it originally didn't have that tower. But I was like, you know what? This roof is kind of boring. I was like, without it, right? It, it, imagine this this roof, it would, it would just be bland. It wouldn't have a lot of detail. It wouldn't have that nice little flag sticking up, right? You may maybe be thinking like, oh, when people come to the inn, they want to kind of know where to park their horse. So a nice tower with a flag on it kind of signifies an area. Maybe where you can uh, saddle up your horse for the night. And go sleep in the raindrop in. Kind of nice, right? That was one of the main things with this build. I was like, I, I want to have something iconic on the roof. And uh, it worked. I think this really worked. And it does look really unique as well. And I like that. I like that. I like those unique features to certain builds. Yeah, the roof. The other thing that I sort of did with this roof that I typically don't do is just random bits of the trim of the roof in the actual part of the main roof. So originally what I did is I just had the dark oak in here and it just splattered around just to break up the, the all the blue, sometimes it's a little bit too much color. So I was like, all right, let's just, you know, dab in a little bit of dark oak from the trim of the roof and just watch that in. And I can, that kind of works out really nice. And I added a little bit of that spruce because there's a little bit of spruce in the build. So we brought that up and popped that in the roof there as well with those little button details. Buttons are awesome. So again, very, very little details, small details scattered throughout this build, but it makes the difference for sure. So one of the things with this build is the three stall horse pen, right? It's not that big of a horse stables. It's, it's kind of small, right? You only can fit three horses in here. And of course, you could expand this out to make it your own. Uh, you can make it a lot bigger. You could probably divvy these little horse stables up into different sections. So you could divide them into two. And then you could fit you know, six horses in here. So that's you know, that wouldn't be too bad. But um, I was I was just trying to keep it simple. kind of Just trying to keep it a little bit nice uh, with how I was doing that. Um... And it, it, I feel like it worked out a lot better than just trying to have all this cluster of different horses in here. So with the stalls, uh, if we come on in here, just looking at one of the stalls, and all of them are generally the same. Uh, 
What I like to do for my horse stables is like have these little tripwire hooks up here. Maybe you can hang like a lasso on, on that or maybe tie up a horse that, even though you actually can't use a fence, but still it kind of just um, reminds you of something that would be hanging up in there. And again, having water and hay for the horses to eat, right? So just these little details, these little minor details. Um, also having the ground sort of like muddy, but also kind of grassy, a little bit overgrown. Those little details are all add up. And even the roof in here, we got this lovely roof, which just kind of comes together. Very simple, again, but also adding in those trapdoor details kind of just helps gradually build up that roof. It's definitely a good thing to do when you're building here. And all the horse stables are all the same, as I said. They're not Nothing's going to change too drastically uh, with these. But again, just minor little details on the inside, not going too crazy. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. Another thing I like to do with this like foundation stuff is add in like blast furnaces and barrels at the ends of like my pillars, like for like main structural support. Blast furnaces really, and you got you got to kind of hide the face of them right here. I kind of put it into the fence, even though you can see the little blast furnace face there. Uh, which is fine. You know, you don't really notice it when you're just kind of flying around or walking around the build sort of hidden and One of the things you don't really want to do is have it facing out like that. Just really weird But facing it this way looks a little bit better And that's one of the main things that I do it for uh, most of my builds the, We have the barrels and then the blast furnaces on that build and this build This is definitely one of those things that I was trying to shoot for like those little structural things uh, adding in those little details because every every you know every little bit every little pixel is a detail so it really worked out here again buttons scattered throughout the build looks really really nice and barrels as well using all different sides of the barrels that's what i like to do and fences fence gates all around here a new thing i've been doing though is adding in signs now this may not be new to you but I like to add in signs as like a as a detail and you'll see this in the future when I show off more of my builds in this series that you'll see me add in signs as like an actual uh, uh, detail um, along the ways. So you see here like below this blast furnace we actually have some signs just acting as a little bit of more support. Maybe just like a wooden structure there. Another just a little detail. It also kind of just breaks up the blandness of the um, the gray. You can see it was where that would just sort of just be a stone brick. Over here, you can see the difference. It's like, oh, okay, we got a nice little variation there with the sign, which I kind of like. Uh, but yeah, this this definitely did come together. And of course, you have your other details. You have like your hanging pots everywhere, flower pots, um, hanging lanterns everywhere, just to light up the build. Uh, leaves everywhere kind of scattered around. I don't like to go crazy with my leaves uh, I know people like to go all over their build with them and sometimes I'll do that like over here I I kind of did it, but it's in this like back corner. So it's kind of a little bit hidden It was just like, kind of cover up that bland wall going up and uh, Yeah, so like in a uniform style. I like to go sometimes with my leaves I just kind of place them here and there not too crazy you don't want to cover up the build that you just did, unless you do. But for me, I like to have, like to show the, the de all the details and I have leaves all over my builds. Unless you're going for like an overgrown style, of course. But, but yeah, this build definitely came together. Again, a nice simple build, nice little tips and tricks there for you, just to kind of show you some little things that I like to do with my build. Um, and I think it just turned out really nicely all in all it's just a nice horse stables again that ta that tower really makes it pop i feel like that's like a, just a focal point your eye is just drawn to that and that's like one of those main things I have a lot of details on your roof right that's what i like to do i like to try and add as much detail into my roof as possible because that takes up majority of the build right you can see especially with these tall roofs this is the majority the majority of the build and this right here is not even like 50% of the build, the roof takes up the most, so, especially with that tower. So you want to have as much detail as possible. So, and just a little quick side note thing, you can see uh, 
that these signs going around on this build as well. So you'll see that throughout my builds. That, that That's the new thing I've been sort of doing with my builds is adding in signs as like an extra level of detail. I love it. I think it looks so cool. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this build for today. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like on the video. As always, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, don't forget to be awesome. And I'll see you guys next time.